Mr. Blair, congratulations Thank on you. being reelected. Thank you. Thank you very much. What it's like to be a part of the Council for Loveland, and can we expect any new changes soon? It's a, it's a very humbling experience. Um, at the same time, it's it's an opportunity to um, to help the city I love grow. And what can we expect soon? What can we expect soon? Well, we'll be there's we'll be moving forward with the uh, the plans for the new parking garage. We'll we'll be moving forward to um, further open up um, city the city government and and our direction to our our community. Um, anything we do, we'll have uh, city government um, trying to ally with the uh, community. Thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on becoming a part of the council. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel to become a part of a council that could change people's lives in this community? It's uh, very humbling. Uh, it's a lot rewarding because uh, this is something that I've worked for. Uh, I ran two years ago, so it's like in a lot of ways uh, kind of the, the end of a journey. but. The responsibility is um, is humbling. You can I can feel that um, just as exciting as it is to be sworn in. I think there's a sense of uh, responsibility that's uh, very serious, uh, and I look forward to uh, digging into it. With being part of this council, would you involve yourself with resolving more issues more towards the city or the people? Well, I think uh, I think both because uh, the city's issues are often the, the people's issues. Uh, and so sometimes uh, the city's issues are not as well known by the, the people. So what might be a popular issue uh, might not be the top, top priority uh, because uh, things like roads and um, stormwater maintenance uh, is actually a bigger priority. It's just not something that's the, the, the getting the loudest uh, attention. But I think you've got to balance that. And that's, that's what I look forward to doing, is understanding uh, where things rank from a priority standpoint. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> Thanks on being reelected as mayor. Thank you. Um, was it as exciting as the first time? For different reasons. Uh, the first time was exciting because I didn't know what I was doing and didn't know what I was getting into. This time it was exciting because, as Judge Greenberg said, it was nice to have validation for what we've done the last four years. Uh, what do you feel like will be the new change that Loveland can expect? Uh, I think with that, given what we've seen, there's certainly going to be more development, and especially with the parking garage coming. So I think that's our challenge, is to make sure that we're making sure we have thoughtful development and that we don't overdevelop and that we develop the right things the right way because we need to keep what makes Loveland Loveland. And will there be any changes that will benefit the people who are less fortunate or people with disabilities or youth? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I mean, we're certainly always looking for ways to do that. Um, as far as specifics, I can't give you any specifics, but those are always noble goals and they're always goals that are on our minds with every decision we make, not just how do we benefit a certain population, but our entire population. We try to keep that in mind always, and we'll continue to do so. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>